Psalm 48 Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised in the city of our God. His holy mountain, beautiful in elevation, is the joy of all the earth. Mount Zion, in the far north, the city of the great king. Within its citadels, God has shown himself a sure defense. Then the kings assembled. They came on together. As soon as they saw it, they were astounded. They were in panic. They took to flight. Trembling took hold of them there. Pains as of a woman in labor. As when an east wind shatters the ships of Tarshish. As we have heard, so have we seen in the city of the Lord of hosts. In the city of our God, which God establishes forever. We ponder your steadfast love, O God, in the midst of your temple. Your name, O God, like your praise, reaches to the ends of the earth. Your right hand is filled with victory. Let Mount Zion be glad. Let the towns of Judah rejoice because of your judgments. Walk about Zion. Go all around it. Count its towers. Consider well its ramparts. Go through its citadels that you may tell the next generation that this is God, our God forever and ever. He will be our God forever. Psalm 49. Hear this, all you peoples. Give ear, all inhabitants of the world, both low and high, rich and poor together. My mouth shall speak wisdom. The meditation of my heart shall be understanding. I will incline my ear to a proverb. I will solve my riddle to the music of the harp. Why should I fear in times of trouble, when the iniquity of my persecutors surrounds me, those who trust in their wealth and boast of the abundance of their riches? Truly, no ransom avails for one's life. There is no price one can give to God for it, for the ransom of life is costly and can never suffice that one should live on forever and never see the grave. When we look at the wise, they die. Fool and dolt perish together and leave their wealth to others. Their graves are their homes forever, their dwelling places to all generations, though they named lands their own. Mortals cannot abide in their pomp. They are like the animals that perish. Such is the fate of the foolhardy, the end of those who are pleased with their lot. Like sheep they are appointed for Sheol. Death shall be their shepherd. Straight to the grave they descend, and their form shall waste away. Sheol shall be their home. But God will ransom my soul from the power of Sheol, for he will receive me. Do not be afraid when some become rich, when the wealth of their houses increases. For when they die, they will carry nothing away. Their wealth will not go down after them, though in their lifetime they count themselves happy. For you are praised when you do well for yourself. They will go to the company of their ancestors, who will never again see the light. Mortals cannot abide in their pomp. They are like the animals that perish. Psalm 50 The Mighty One, God the Lord, speaks and summons the earth from the rising of the sun to its setting. Out of Zion, the perfection of beauty, God shines forth. Our God comes and does not keep silence. Before him is a devouring fire and a mighty tempest all around him. He calls to the heavens above and to the earth that he may judge his people. Gather to me, my faithful ones, who made a covenant with me by sacrifice. The heavens declare his righteousness, for God himself is judge. Hear, O my people, and I will speak. O Israel, I will testify against you. I am God, your God. Not for your sacrifices do I rebuke you. Your burnt offerings are continually before me. I will not accept a bull from your house or goats from your folds. For every wild animal of the forest is mine, the cattle on a thousand hills. I know all the birds of the air, and all that moves in the field is mine. If I were hungry, I would not tell you, for the world and all that is in it is mine. 
Do I eat the flesh of bulls or drink the blood of goats? Offer to God a sacrifice of thanksgiving and pay your vows to the Most High. Call on me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you and you shall glorify me. But to the wicked, God says, What right have you to recite my statutes or take my covenant on your lips? For you hate discipline and you cast my words behind you. You make friends with a thief when you see one and you keep company with adulterers. You give your mouth free rein for evil and your tongue frames deceit. You sit and speak against your kin. You slander your own mother's child. These things you have done, and I have been silent. You thought that I was one just like yourself, but now I rebuke you and lay the charge before you. Mark this, then, you who forget God, or I will tear you apart, and there will be no one to deliver those who bring thanksgiving as their sacrifice honor me. To those who go the right way, I will show the salvation of God.